What is up guys and welcome back. So I'm going to show you how to get some fairly good gear fairly early in the game. This is going to be the first area, the uh, droughts, and this is going to be the legendary hunt. The first area I got to, or the first legendary hunt I got to. Now it says that there is one enemy here, but this is true, but he is also a Varkid. So if you damage him enough, leave him alone, he is going to go create his Varkid pod and he's going to spawn siblings. I mean, there are actually so many. Let me see, I've got them written down here. So you've got the Lavender uh, Crawley, you've got Bobby Crawley, Kira Crawley, Martha Crawley, Matty Crawley, um, and Sybil Crawley. So I'm going to let this video play out, guys, but uh, when you get to the point when he's very, very low on health, I'm going to jump back in and explain you through it. Alright, so roughly around this point, he has run away now, or flew away, to uh, do his Valkyrie pod. And uh, I'm going to spend the time to raise my pet. And as you can see, he's not done just yet. And he actually went into the ground, I started shooting, and I was like, no, wait! Let him spawn more, more enemies, better loot, you know how it goes. And there we go, bang. Now this is going to happen multiple times. Now it'll happen probably behind the curtain, you won't even know it's happening because you'll be busy fighting these guys. Uh, this over here is, that is Bobby Crawley, I think it is. And then the one behind me is Kira Crawley. So they both change. Now these two are going to spawn too, then they're going to spawn too. And there is an end to it, so definitely stick with it. And if you've got a strong enough weapon, take them out as well. I forgot to use my powers immediately. I like the, I chose the, I chose Flak at least. Um, because I like the pets, sue me. I want, <laughs> I want beastie animals protecting and murdering and ripping out spines and stuff all around me all the time. And I'm very amped to get it very, very leveled up. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. It is very similar in many ways to Borderlands 2. Uh, the menu system is way better. I like how you can compare weapons without having your character in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Uh, blocking the view. So as you can see, here comes another one. Don't destroy them. Let them do their thing. And when it's all said and done, you will see a bunch of loot dropped over there. That is Martha, the one with the hat, I think it is. Uh, we've come so close over these last hours. But um, they are here to be destroyed, and we shall do that. As you can see, some have ice, some have fire. Other ones don't have anything. And that was the last one, I think it was. Now, to be completely honest, maybe if you damage these guys some more, uh, they'll spawn more family members. But at this point... Um, I probably didn't even think about it like that. There were just none left to, sh to shoot. As you can see, uh, behind that Varkid pillar, we're going to call it, is some um, blue items. And over here we've got some Iridium. Thank you very much. You go through all these weapons. They're all going to be different. And then over here is going to be some blue stuff, which is always good. My inventory was packed. So I'm going to do a test and see if I can go back and sell stuff and actually come back here if the weapons are still here Hello. or if they are not. Over there. Alright guys, I'm going to get back to it. The full challenge guide for this area is going to be up very soon. Uh, smash the like button if you join the content and support on Patreon. It doesn't have to cost you a thing. So guys, thank you for watching and I want to catch you on the next one.